Hi guys, Tony here with a new lesson. Very excited to have you here for this one because we have an emotional lick in, uh, in G, all right? Emotional lick that you can play with the G chord. I say emotional because when I wrote it, I was kind of sad, if I'm being honest with you. And, you know, that's the great thing about music and why I try to teach this kind of stuff because um, it's great to pick up the instrument and just vent, express yourself, you know, whether you're feeling sad, happy, angry, whatever it is, it's just great. It's such a joy to be able to do that. Um, you know, to pick it up in a form of meditation, I guess. So do what you want with this. Basically, it's a lick, uh, but I built a chord progression round about it. So it turns into a, um, a melodic piece. And yeah, just take the ideas. You can either steal it, you know, or you can take it and make it your own as well. Just use the ideas that I talk about in this lesson. So let's start off with the lick and then I'm just going to break that down first, okay? So it goes like this. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm doing here is I'm using the G major scale, and if you don't know that, you probably do, because if you played um, the blues scale, you play the G major scale, all right? Um, they basically share the same notes, all right? So, so yeah, G, we're going to slap it, and then I'm going to take my third finger from three to five, it's already on the three, all right, and then back to th three again. So three slide up to five, three, then I'm going to take my middle finger on four in the G, slide it up to five, and back to four again, right? All right, so G. A little bit slower. So it's important you use the right fingers here. Your third finger sliding up to five, so your index is three to get three, and then your middle is three to get four again. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to slide back to five, four, and then I'm going to slide to two, Okay, and that's a fast slide again, so you just get the, you can make sure you keep the pressure there with your finger. Right? And then pull off like that, right? And then two on the D. Alright, so let's break all that down nice and slow. G. And then basically I'm going to do that like again, like this, right? But since my fingers are over here, I'm going to play it down here, like this, all right? Uh, so I'm going to hammer on, one on the B, open again, and then two, zero, two on the G, and then three on the B back into the G, right? So I'm just going to break down that whole lick nice and slow now, right? So, G. Okay. And that is the lick. So now we're going to build that melody into a chord progression. So when you're playing in any given key, you're going to have chords in that key that correspond with the notes that we play. So playing that melody in the key of G major, here are the corresponding chords that go along with that. And you can really figure this out for yourself just by knowing the chords, all right, which uh, are in the key. I know that if I'm playing in the key of G, I've got G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished. All right, near all the chords in G. And um, if you want to know more about that kind of stuff, by the way, I have 
at a course that's launching on the 19th of June called Guitar Ascension. <coughs> um, I put some information in that below. You can access my free course that's uh, the Campfire uh, Licks, all right, which is a lot of fun. That's free. So you can access that and then you got all the information about the new course as well. So in the description if you're interested about more advanced stuff. <coughs> Anyways, um, that's all the chords in G major, all right? So um, we've got this, G major, B minor, A minor, C, D, da 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 All right. <clears throat> so don't worry, by the way, if you can't play bar chords, right? Because we're not actually going to play the B minor bar chord during this, all right? So we need to find that melody and add any of the chords. So this is what I came up with. Okay. So a few different things going on there. Um, so let's just break it down bit by bit. Okay, so the first bit pretty much stays the same. We play a G and then The only difference here is we play a double stop, right? And this double stop is just part of the B, B minor chord. Okay, so. Double stop is just when you play two notes together like that. So again, I just use the same fingers. And then when I come back to four, I put my index finger on three as well. And I get those notes together, right? Which beefs it up a little bit. Not like a full chord, but something a little bit more, um, I don't know, beefier. <laughs> okay, and then I tried to find a better word than beefy for this, but I just wasn't coming. So, again, and then, same thing there, and then, rather than go into this note here, I'm just going to go into an E minor chord, right? Like that. So, Right now when I'm here, all I'm going to do is this, alright? So on the A minor when I strum that, right, from the A string, I'm going to stop at the B, take my finger off and get that open B like that, okay? And then the next note, my third finger is already on to the G here. So I'm just going to get this note and then just take my fingers off and then get right into the C chord and strum that like that, so. Okay, so all in, nice and slow. Okay, and then from here I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's just break down that first bit. I'm just doing this little double stop. Okay, so I'm taking my third, my middle finger off on two, on the D. I'm hammering onto that whilst getting the G open below. Okay. Again, gets a little bit more beef. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, slide the C up to a D chord, all right? Well, it's a D sus something, I don't know, <laughs> all right? But this little move here works really well as a D chord, all right? I use this all the time. So if you're in C, you need to go to D, like this, rather than this, for a beat change, all right? And I do it twice. You get that kind of warm, warm, back to G. So that little bit.
So I'm going to just break that down one more time, really nice and slow. All right, so. Now what you could do is you could play just the, the chord progression and then add that in, all right? Or you could use this as an intro and then just use the chord progression uh, when you start to sing something. I don't know, you could put words to it. So for example, The world's your oyster with it. Do what you will. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you soon.